back to my channel. I'm Jacqueline Ann. If you're new, hi, thank you for being here. And if you are not new, thank you so much for coming back. I am excited about today's video because I am doing a haul that I've never done before. I picked up some things at Abercrombie and I figured that um, I should haul it for you guys because I was able to make quite a few outfits out of these pieces and I just love all things fall. So I'm excited about um, sort of the new fall styles and everything. Um, so I was really pleased with the things I picked up and Abercrombie is having a sale right now that I think ends today. So I'm going to try and hurry up and get this video up for you guys in case you are wanting to catch that 30% off on the sweaters. So there are sweaters and fleece and those sort of things that I think are on sale today. So if you are interested in seeing what I picked up and you know, sort of how I'll make outfits out of it, then stick with me. And if you like this video, if you like this kind of video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss it when I put out new videos. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I picked up has been extremely popular and I maybe I'm a little bit late to the game um, picking a pair up, but these are the wide leg trouser pants. Um, I actually did pick up a pair a couple of weeks ago, so I knew whenever I made this order that I wanted another pair because I really love them. Um, these are a nice wide leg, but they fit really nicely at the waist and they do have the pleats, but it's like a, it's just such a comfortable material that it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing trouser pants. So I just didn't think I would enjoy them as much as I do, and I do really like them. The back of them has the um, fake pockets. These are not real. These are just for looks, but this is such a flattering. I've seen it on so many body types, and that's what made me decide that I was going to try these. Um, because I have a pair of Aritzia effortless pants and I was thinking that I would just wait and get another pair of those. But in all honesty, they are not the same, but this is such, it's just a, such a good alternative for probably half of the price. So really, really love these. Absolutely recommend these. And um, the length for me is just right. I got mine in a size small. I am usually a size 26 or a 27 in um, denim and or in pants. And I was able to get this in a small. I actually had picked it up in a medium, but the medium just, there was just too much to be as flattering as the small is. So I feel like I'm kind of in between sizes, but for me, I went ahead and stuck with the smaller of the two sizes because this is more flattering and it is perfectly comfortable. They are very, very comfortable. They have um, some give to them and they just have such a flowy feel that um, it is it is a super comfortable pant. And I have worn them already and can say that they do not wrinkle. They're not um, you know, wrinkling as you sit in them throughout the day or anything like that. So that is a huge, huge plus for me. So I really, really like these and I know that the reviews as far the reviews are great but as far as sizing I think people usually say to size up unfortunately that was not true for me I feel like sticking with my true size was the way to go and I did not need to get the longer length I could have because um long trouser pants is very in style but I just really wanted to stick with I didn't want anything that I was going to be walking on especially since this is a lighter color, so I didn't want to chance not being able to wear it with um, flatter shoes. In the try-on, I'm wearing my um, platform Air Force Ones, and so that's about the highest type of shoe that I'll ever wear with it, and it works. So these are fantastic. I highly recommend, um, which is why I did actually pick them up in two colors. So like I said, I actually got this one. Um, I got the khaki ones first and then picked these up because I love this rich brown color for fall and I just feel like so many outfits, um, you can make so many outfits with these and the comfort level is so high. These feel more comfortable to me than whenever you put on most of the denim that's out there these days. Um, so in all honesty, this is comfier than your jeans and I love them. They're just they're such a good look. They're so flattering and they're so flattering on most body types. So um, yes, can't recommend these enough. So the next thing that I grabbed is a sweatshirt and actually I grabbed 
different colors of this same style of sweatshirt because I know I wear them so much. Every year Abercrombie has some cute sweatshirts sort of like this that um, like this is not super oversized. It's got the oversized look but then it has the um, band at the bottom that kind of just it's it's slightly cropped not as in it's short it hits your waist but it's not one of those really long oversized sweatshirts. It's got just enough roominess to have that cozy feel um, without being like super oversized. And I just really like the um, embroidered graphic and everything that it has on it. They're cute, they like are visually interesting. And the thing is for me, I only wear comfortable clothes. So you will not catch me wearing something, something that is not comfy. And this is what's real and practical. I, in real life and in practical life, I, would wear a sweatshirt on a regular basis. These are everyday wearable outfits that I have put together. So this is reality. This is what I'd really be wearing. But because like it sort of has something interesting to it and it looks a little bit more, um, just a teeny bit more stepped up than your regular oversized sweatshirts, then it sort of makes it more of a look. So you'll see that I tried it on with the trouser pants. I will absolutely wear them that way. I got these um, actually in all different sizes. So I got this one in a medium and then I got other colors in both a large and an extra large. I really do not feel like sizing is all that critical. I'm actually usually a small, but for the sweatshirts, I wanted to make sure that they were a little bit oversized. And in all honesty, I think that the medium may be my favorite for with the trouser pants. Um, but I do like the larger sizes with leggings and that sort of thing as well. And then I would wear these with sweatpants. Also, um, these are one of the things that are 30% off today, which I'm going to try to get this video up today so that you guys don't miss out on it. Um, but they do more sales. So if you miss this sale, I'm sure something else will be coming up around the corner. But they're totally worth grabbing um, because I... I'll use these so many times throughout the fall and the winter. I do every year. And um, so I was excited to pick this up and then I grabbed it also in this color, which has a little bit more green on it. It's just this heathered gray with a little bit of that olive -y toned green, which I have things that are in this color for fall as well. So I just thought that that was really, really cute. This is the one that I grabbed in the extra large. So this is the largest one that I have picked up and it's really cozy and I really like it, but it still looks great with jeans. I wear it with jeans. I'll wear it with the trouser pants. I'll wear it with leggings. So super versatile, um, but also looks really cute. And then with these, I also sometimes will um, drape them over my shoulders. So like I'll have a fitted shirt on like a baby tee or something like that t-shirt that like has some shape to it. But then whenever it's not super cold, I'll just take one of these and drape it over my shoulders the same way that you would with a sweater. And that is a really cute way to be able to kind of keep it around, um, to keep it for warmth, but also if it's just too warm to really need it to, to be on, it just gives you that third piece, which just elevates your outfit. So um, I think these, I know that these will get a lot of wear, very versatile. And then the third color that I picked it up in is this nice dark like this rich brown and again it has a similar but they're not they don't they say something different each one says something different um in the graphic and it is embroidered so really cute this one i picked up in a large yeah, it's personal preference so love those definitely recommend grabbing one or two if you are a sweatshirt person because that is something that i will wear as just like a regular daily um, outfit and it still looks cute and put together. And next up, I picked up a pair of jeans. Um, these are the 90s relaxed high rise jean. Um, this is just a, a very in style cut of jeans right now um, with it being the 90s high rise straight and the 90s high rise relaxed are probably the two most popular at this time jeans at Abercrombie. Um, these are the relaxed ones, which means that um, they're straight, but sort of, they have more width to the legs than the just regular 90s high rise straights would be. Um, so a little bit of a wide leg. This is not an extreme wide leg. So if you're just trying to do something wide leg, this is a good like step into it. So, um, I really like these. I think that these go really well, 
um, with Birkenstock Bostons. Um, they look great with um, whatever kind of tennis shoes you are really liking right now. These would be really cute with a pair of New Balance, which is totally in style right now. But I really like these. I like the comfort level of them. I'm getting more used to having the wide leg pants and figuring out the way to style them is sort of the the problem but I think we've kind of figured out how exactly to style them and make them work so at least comfort wise these are very comfy whenever it gets cooler I like that these are long enough and I will be able to wear shoes and socks and all the things that I need to actually stay warm because again I've mentioned before that in the past we used to wear like all of these ankle jeans all the time and I really do like those whenever it's warmer but whenever it's cold I don't like the skin showing because I, I want to be warm. So um, I think that these are a win. I think that they are flattering around the waist and the hips and um, they're not like, they don't smash your butt and give you unibutt or any, like they're good. They're, they're really a flattering jean. So I really like these. As far as sizing goes, I could be between a 26 and a 27. I chose the 26 for this. They do have a little bit of stretch in it. I can feel it. I didn't check what the the um, fabric content is, but I know that they do have some stretch. So they are 99% cotton, but 1% elastane, and I can feel just that teeny tiny bit of stretch in it, which makes it just a more wearable jean, um, especially since they come up kind of high rise. So um, they don't hurt whenever they're high rise. Some high rise jeans when it, that are 100% denim can be really uncomfortable. This is not one of those pairs. So I do recommend this style. And also the 90 straight jeans are a very good, um, if you're looking to get away from the skinny jean, that is a really good starting point too. So I'll link those also um, below for you. So the next thing that I grabbed is this lightweight sweater it is a fitted sort of scoop neck sweater and you can see that it has some ribbing and some just pretty detail to it so <clears throat> if you are trying to work out non-skinny jeans meaning a wide leg jean or a straight leg jean and they just have more um volume to them if they're just like not because they're not as slim and you feel like they look bulky the way to counter that is to have a top that is more fitted so that, you know, every piece that you're wearing is not as like just overflowing everywhere. So just an easy way as you're trying to get into the style of not having the skinny jean. Um, so a fitted top with a more um, oversized pant. So the pants that I have are just because they are wide leg, even though they fit me perfectly, um, they just have more volume to it. So. This goes really well with the jeans on this style. So I intentionally made sure to pick up, I have others from other places, but whenever I made this order, I wanted to be able to make outfits out of the things that I have. And I made sure to pick up one of these. This style is really wearable. It's really comfy. Um, the, the quality of these sweaters, Abercrombie has come a really far away from what it used to be when we were younger. Um, these are great quality and it is a perfect um it feels really really good and it is the perfect pairing with a pair of trousers or a pair of pants that just is a little bit more square looking because this just kind of keeps you with some shape so i really like this and i do again love it with a sweater over my shoulders or something like that because um then you get a little bit of added warmth but then you get that third piece but you could still see I mean, you still want some of that fitted to be peeking through. So this is perfect for that. So I really like this. I feel like it's super flattering um, and just really, really cute. And it feels like it'll hold up well. Um, I have not washed and dried or anything yet. I won't dry it, I'll hang it. But it feels like it'll hold up really well. So I really like this. And then also in going with that um, fitted theme, I also picked up a bodysuit. This one is really great because I like the color. I mean, I am a neutrals person, so you can kind of see my color palette tends to be neutral. But um, I really like this because one, it is a bodysuit. It's the thong style bodysuit. Um, I don't always love bodysuits. This one works really well, but not every bodysuit is going to be my favorite. Sometimes I feel like I do better if I have a shirt that just stops at the top of my pants rather than 
the pulling of the bodysuit, but this one does work for me. And the thing that really drew me to it is this nice square neckline. Um, this is such a flattering neckline specifically for my body type. And I do like that because it's a bodysuit, instead of um, drawing your eye down to like maybe your midsection, I feel like the square kind of um, square neckline kind of pulls your eye here, which is just a flattering look to begin with. So um, it's just really pretty. It, it's such a cute style. And again, the same way that I would style the last sweater, I would do it the same way with a larger pair of jeans, trousers, whatever your bottoms are going to be. There's, you can do it with a bigger, I mean, you could do this with a cute little mini skirt as well, but it looks really good as a counter to a larger bottom. So this is really cute. And I would put a sweater over my shoulders if I wanted, or, um, you know, a jacket or something, if it's a little bit chillier in my area, this is probably all I'll need for most of the cooler season. But if you need more, then it easily pairs with a jacket, a leather jacket or something over it would look beautiful. Okay. Next up, I picked up a sweater, which I really like this one. I picked this one up specifically because of the visual interest that the sleeves and the collar was going to have. I knew that I wanted a, a sweater that was going to look pretty draped over my shoulders. And I knew that with this peeking through and um, just this, it would look really good. Of course, this is a beautiful standalone sweater and the way that it feels is such good quality, um, which means that right now with a 30% off, it's at an excellent price point for it's regularly $70 to 30% off of that. This is well worth the cost of that because it feels so good. It is flattering. And again, it has a classic look to it, but it's visually interesting. And like, you know, there's just something a little bit more to it with the, um, with the V-neck. This would look really cute with a button down shirt underneath it. Just so much versatility for this. It's going to look good with jeans, with trousers. So just really cute, really good, highly recommend. And then I picked up one last sweater and this is a, it has hook and eye type closures in the front. Um, if you could see that is how it closes. So that means that you can um, have as many done or undone. I think it looks good with the top one and the bottom one undone. Um, this sweater material is so soft. I mean, it's absolutely very soft. It's a thicker weight than you would think just looking at it. So I really like that because I feel like this will um, transition well all the way through whenever it's just a little bit chilly all through cooler weather. And this is just such a, such a cute sweater. And sometimes things like this that just have a little bit extra to it. So it's still just your standard sort of fitted sweater. And yet it just has that scoop neckline and the hook and eyes that just like give it a little bit more of something, you know? Um, and it can be hard to find these at a decent price point or just to, to get your hands on in general. So I really love this. I've kept my eye open. I would really like to grab it in the white. It hasn't come back in stock. I'll probably end up paying full price for the white one because in all honesty, um, I think it's that worth it. And I could see myself using it throughout the entire winter season. I like that I was able to grab the gray. The white will be even more. I might look at the other colors that they have because I think that this is worth it. And obviously whenever I love something um, in one color, if it works for me, I'll end up picking it up in multiple colors just because when you find a good find like this, you got to go with it. So I really like this one. So that's the last thing from today's haul. I hope it was helpful to you in just trying to build out your fall wardrobe. And um, let me know in the comments what your fa favorite piece was or what you are loving from Abercrombie. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you are not already so that you can see how I style these things on a regular basis. And I will see you in the next video.